Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. A little bit about myself. I am an international medical graduate from India. I matched into internal medicine in the recent NRMP match and I will be starting my residency in July. I am a Notion enthusiast, meaning I love using the app for making my notes, tracking my productivity, planning things in my life, basically just about everything. In this video, I will be sharing how I used this app while preparing for my USMLE Step 2 CK exam, take you through my dashboard for the same and share the template that you can use as well. As an overview, this is what I use the app for. Planning my study schedule for the entire month, making my notes from all the different resources that I was using. Now Notion can be exceptionally organized when it comes to this as I will be sharing very soon. Tracking my overall progress and my speed compared to my deadline. Incorporating active recall and spaced repetition for my revisions. Compiling all the good tips that I came across on the internet. Maintaining a record of my self-assessments and also adding any study tools that I needed like a Pomodoro timer or my study playlist, live streams to study with, etc. So let's get started. Here I have a simple aesthetic lo-fi GIF as my cover. I really liked this particular one the most. You can find a link to this one in the description box below if you would like to use the same one. Otherwise, you can use any of these colors and gradient or any other that you want. To customize your own covers, you can use the upload option here. But on the free plan, Notion only allows you to upload images up to a maximum of 5 MB in size. Now at this size, GIFs are usually very pixelated and they don't show up very well. So a workaround for this is that you can use this link option instead and paste a link to your file even if it is larger than 5 MB. But make sure that you are self-hosting your file, for example either on your Google Drive or OneDrive. Otherwise, the web-generated link will be temporary and your cover will disappear as soon as your link expires. Next up, I have this section with all the important links at the top. All of these buttons link to websites that are used very frequently while preparing. For example, this playlist link takes me directly to the Spotify page with all Divine Intervention podcast episodes. Over here, I have my daily checklist with a to-do list of tasks that I wanted to work on every day, like a targeted number of UL questions, which I will be getting to later, a certain number of pages to read from the books that I was using, my daily revisions, Divine Intervention podcast episodes, etc, etc. Every morning, I would delete the last day's progress and click on this button for a fresh checklist for me to work on. Now pertaining to this daily checklist, one thing that I did not use at the time but I will try to incorporate into the template for you is that you can actually keep a track of how much you achieved out of your checklist on a particular day, maintain a record of your progress and try to gamify it. So rather than deleting all the record of your completed tasks, you can instead archive it and later pull out stats from it if you want. Next to this, I have a calendar view. Now, I already gave my USMLE Step 2 CK last year, but I changed the dates to 2022 so as to make this video. This is a monthly representation of the subjects that I have to work on in a particular month, the number of days I have allotted to that subject, if any self-assessments are scheduled for that month, etc. I can also do a bit of customization right within this calendar view itself, as you can see. Over here, I made a current organ system section. This tells me the subject that I have to study today as per my schedule. The progress bar shows me how much I've achieved collectively in terms of the UL questions for that subject as well as the pages I have to read from my book. The deadline moves according to the number of days I have allotted and the day that it currently is. For example, as you can see in this calendar view, I allotted 6 days to gastroenterology from 9th to 13th of May. Since it is currently 10th of May, I am 25% into my deadline. If I were to change the number of days allotted, my deadline changes accordingly. Now this also takes into account the time of the day and doesn't just change after 24 hours, so it's very accurate. Next I have this today's race against time section. Now I might have gone a little overboard with this one, but I feel that without this section I would have definitely slacked a lot. This is a daily representation of my progress. Now what this essentially tells me is that compared to the number of questions I should be doing today and the number of pages I should have read today, how far along have I come? So the target is to always keep these green dots ahead of the red one. So this gave me a good reality check and stopped me from putting off things saying that I can do them in the evening. So as you can see, if I were to change the number of UL questions that I've done today, it changes my progress accordingly. Here I have a target for today's section, which automatically shows me the number of UL questions I'm supposed to do today by taking into account the total questions there are for that particular subject and the number of days I've allotted, similarly for the theoretical part. So you can see if I change the number of days, my daily UL questions change accordingly. Over here, I inserted a quote that resonates with me a lot and gets me going. I made this one on Canva and inserted it as an image. Here I have links to two important databases that I will be getting to later. Over here, there is a clock widget that I added from Indify.com. Admittedly, this is purely for aesthetic purposes. I never really use this clock at all. Next up, I have this section which shows me if I have any upcoming tests in the next seven days. 
so i made a separate database for all of my ul self assessments cms forms and bmes everything that i wanted to do as self assessments so if i were to assign a date to either of them say 11th of may you can see that it will now start showing up in my upcoming tests along with the date that i'm supposed to take it on so i can plan my revision accordingly now next to this i have a useful tips section wherein i put down any good advice that i came across on reddit or while reading any blog posts on step to ck prep i put them all down together in this toggle below this i have a study playlist section with two of my most favorite genres piano and lo-fi now spotify has some limitations when it comes to embedding playlists so i used soundcloud instead this ul tracker is a 40 question checkbox set for days that i was particularly lazy while doing a block so when i'm done with it i can just delete it and start a new block now coming to the major part this is a main notebook you can either imagine it as one big fat notebook with a lot of subjects in it or a bookshelf with all of these subjects as individual books these bars that you see right here are progress bars which indicate my progress for u world for that particular subject now i made a separate tutorial on how you can make these progress bars you can find a link to it either somewhere on the screen here it will also be present in the description box below now if i were to open any subject the contents inside would be the same for every subject that is my main notes high yield points from u world and boss divine intervention podcast self assessments or from any other source that i came across now apart from these main notes i did not add any of these high yield points here primarily they are all compiled from all different databases for example while i'm doing ul questions i would make my flashcard with a question and answer and also include a subject now since this database has a filter set to it to only show those questions where the subject is pulmonary and critical care that is why this will show pulmonary questions only you can think of this ul points being a huge notebook of its own the pages of which get copied and distributed to the respective subject as well now coming to this ul points database every page in this database has a few properties a question an answer a date created property a question id media to include images and flowcharts if any the subject that it belongs to and tags you can make your flashcards right when you are going through u world in chrome itself with minimal hassle using this chrome extension called save to notion so every time you want to make a flashcard for a particular u world question you click on that extension and after you have linked your notion account with it it will show you an option of various databases in your account that you would like to add this to so in our particular case it is u world points so this is where we write out our question our answer for that particular question the qid the tags which are provided by u world itself now the very cool thing about this extension is that you can even add media to your flashcard so if i select an image and this is a particular flowchart that i would like to include in my flashcard then i can just click on it and now it is a part of my flashcard you can choose your subject for me for this particular question it is neurology if you are solving your world subject wise then you might want to just add it in the template itself so that you don't have to keep adding it for every flashcard you make for a long time and the status also i have put just read in my template now when i click add new page this particular flashcard will be added directly to my database this is what the database looks like here in notion when i open any subject all of the pages with questions from that particular subject will automatically show up here this is how the system essentially works you have all these different databases segregated subject wise in the background where you enter all the information every time you open a particular subject from your bookshelf all the questions pertaining to that subject will be extracted from the different databases and shown here all in one place this is happening with the help of some formulae that i have built in and some filter functions active recall and spaced repetition are study methods that have always worked for me in the past so i really wanted to incorporate it in this database as well so what active recall means is to retrieve the information in your brain rather than passively revising to achieve this i converted all of my ul questions in the form of a flashcard this is how it works now i made a separate tutorial for this as well you can check that video out here so you read the question actively recall the information click on show answer and check if your answer is correct now coming to spaced repetition spaced repetition is a memory technique that involves reviewing and recalling information at optimal spacing intervals until the information is learned at a sufficient level so i wanted to review every question about 10 times so i created these 10 groups 
from just read 1, 2, 3, all the way up till done. Just read is the initial. Every time a new flashcard is made, by default, it gets added to just read. Now this is automatic as I put it in the template itself. I don't have to keep selecting it for every flashcard. Every flashcard also gets a date created property at the time that it is made. Now this is the property that my formula uses. Depending on the level that the flashcard is at, that is from just read all the way up to nine, the formula will add a certain number of days to the property date created and show the date when it has to be revised next. So say for example, whenever I create a new flashcard, I want to revise it that very day. So if the status is just read, then I want the next study date to be zero days after the number of days that it was created on and so on. Now these days, that is 1, 3, 6, 11, 18, 32, 62, they are according to the gaps that I wanted between my revisions. You can totally customize the formula according to what works for you. Since the date created property is an automatically assigned one and is not editable, I cannot edit it to show you how the formula works in real time. Now this is how it works. Every day you open your daily revision view. There is a filter set in here to only show those questions where the next study date is either on or before today so that all of my pending reviews are shown as well. You go through a question, recall the answer in your head, click on show answer to see if your answer is correct. If it is, you simply drag the card and move it to the next column. Now it will disappear since the next study date has now changed and is no longer today. Your goal every day should be to complete your daily revisions. That is to have an empty board at the end of the day. Now coming to the self-assessment section a bit more in detail. If I were to open any new form, I have this template here called general form. If I click on it, then this is what the page will look like. Over here, I have these two toggles called answer sheet and score report and the new information learned. At the top, I pinned a few instructions on how to use this format. For the forms that I would be doing offline, I put them all together in a Google Drive. So here I've included a link that takes me directly to the folder on my drive. This answer sheet and score report part is where I can enter all of my answers for the questions as I solve them. When I'm done, I can unhide the property called results and that will show me the questions that I got correct and the ones that I did not. At the very end, I can also use this calculate part to see my score out of 50. Now as I review my questions, if there is any particular test strategy that I have learned or if I feel there was any emphasis on a topic that I'm not very comfortable with, then I can add it here to my take home messages. Now this here is a synced block as you can see with a red border around it. Now I have included this synced block in my template called general template itself and also on my dashboard. So everything that I learn from each self-assessment which uses this template can be found on my dashboard as well. The second toggle is for the new information that I learn. I will add it here along with the subject and then it will auto populate to its respective subject notebook. Now this here is the test taking tip section with the synced block that I was talking about. So whatever I add to either of the self assessment forms will be updated here and compiled in one place so that I don't have to go about opening each form looking for it. Coming to the divine intervention podcast checklist, here I've included a link to a Google document which has been very kindly compiled by people on the internet. This contains transcribed notes for a lot of episodes. So if I miss out on anything or only want the gist of a particular episode, then I go through these. This is an embedded Excel sheet of episodes that is maintained by Divine himself. Here I've included a link to his website which is all the audios. Now this table is a complete index of the episodes that I had to listen to for Step 2 CK. It has the episode number, the duration, Subject tag, so every time I listen to an episode, I choose the template, new episode. This template inserts a copy of the linked database for high yield points from the podcast. If I come across anything in this episode that I would like to jot down, I can type it out here and it will auto populate to its respective subject notebook. This is an example for you to see. So here I've written all the questions that I found important in this particular episode along with their answers and linked them to different subjects. So now when I open the cardiology notebook, I will find this particular question in the podcast high yield points section. You will find a link to this notion template in the description box below. I have also included an instruction manual with it that will guide you on how to make the best use of it. So to sum it up, this is what you do every day. You take a look at your target for the day, the number of UWorld questions you are supposed to do and the number of pages you are supposed to read. You solve UWorld. You make your flashcards right in Chrome itself. If you're doing Amboss, you make your notes similarly. If you're listening to podcast, you make your notes similarly. And then you do your daily revisions. That's it. Everything is compiled and organized so you don't have to go worrying about losing any information.
I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. I would really appreciate it if you could leave your feedback down in the comments below. I am just starting out with YouTube and I would love to know how I can make better and more informative videos. So thank you so much for watching.